Hey guys, what's up? I'm Zephyr Sonic, and welcome to more Pokemon Stadium 2. So in the last episodes, we defeated the Violet Gym Leader Faulkner, then Bugsy, then Whitney, and now it's going to be Morty's turn. So we're going to be challenging the Ecritique Gym now. It's the Ghost-type Gym. And so, yeah, as you see, who we're going to be facing up against first two trainers, and then Morty himself. Uh, it's safe to register a team. It's going to be all rentals this time. Uh, probably going to be bringing up some of my own Pokemon in the next gym, so this is going to be uh, halfway up. Yeah, since we're going to be halfway up the castle, yeah, I'll probably bring in some of my own teams. But this is what I'm going to go with, like I said, all rentals. And... So yeah, I am ready to take on Morty's gym. So let's uh, go take it on, shall we? Hmm, I sense something in you. I think, and I believe another text of entry she says is like, uh, "Hiya! Do you believe in unseen powers? Maybe uh, Austin powers, but uh, no." Alright, uh, let's see. This first battle, I think we're gonna go with Kadabra, Dugtrio, and Sneasel. The challenger has advanced about halfway through the Gym Leader Castle. Next up are the members of Ecrutique Gym. First, the medium, Holly. Now, Kadabra is really gonna help in these first two battles. More than likely, but the the Morty is it's not gonna be that simple. They're ready to go. There's the attack. I believe there's a held item. Uh, yeah, because you see that did about half. But I think there's a held item that Ditto. I I forget, but I rem I remember something that's uh. That, like, there's a held item that uh, Ditto can hold that will double its special defense and regular defense. But I forget what it's called. What's next? Not very effective. It's a fierce battle. And just so that you guys know, is that, uh, Shinies did come into play in this generation, also being this uh, game, Pokemon Stadium 2. And they will only be shiny if they, if the, if be right before the Pokeball releases, if it starts sparkling and it makes this cool sparkly sound. It goes, Wee! Makes a cool sound. And I've had a couple of people say I should use a, a shiny. Well, I can. I can bring in a shiny eventually. Yeah, might as well go for the Thunder Punch. Thunder's Punch! Ah, but we missed. And it's gonna get the hidden power. And it... It was probably Bug. I think it was. Well, at least we got some hit on it. What's this? Alright, uh, who's gonna be next? Let's We're see. Bring in Doug Trio. Oh, it's Doug Trio. A hot battle is unfolding. Go for the magnitude, hope for a high number. At least seven. There it goes. Which I get! It, that is like it's oh, damage. well. Uh, that's funny, I said well, seven and I got seven. I am live recording, so... Well, I guess I'll go for the Slash. Which, thanks to the Polka Dot Bow, will increase by, uh, I think 10%. So... And the critical hit ratio of, like I said, most attacks fell, well, especially Slash in particular. It fell by, like, uh, I think it went from 99% to 75. I can't remember the exact figures. So I guess we'll go for the slash and make use of the polka dot bow. Which we don't get the critical, but uh, that is alright. Light screen, 
Uh, won't affect Slash in any way. Unless you go for the Reflect. Yeah, you see, like, it to, and criti uh, criti uh, Slash doesn't get a critical hit twice in a row. It's, it was very rare in Stadium 1 for Slash to not get a critical hit. Then now this is, yeah. Yeah, now it's just uh, stalling pretty much. Come on, Doug Trio, can we get a critical hit? Yeah, you see what I mean? Got Comet Punch, but uh, it only hit two times. Unless I get a critical, this slash is probably going to be uh, probably gonna barely hang on. Okay, we got it. Probably by an HP or two, but uh, that's the first one. Oh, I'm shattered. Shattered like glass. Well, let's go ahead and take on the second gym trainer, which is the Sage Dude. Greetings, how good of you to come. Shall we get started? Alrighty, uh, definitely would be a good choice for Kadabra to start. Kadabra and then uh, Sneasel. Zubat should be very easy to take down uh, with Kadabra. They go into battle mode. A psychic blast. Real the weakness. So, yeah. Take down with one hit. That was just too quick. Well, thank you, dude. Will this turn into a one-sided battle? Yes, it was very impressive. Oh, it's Mochum. Smoochum. Um, go with the Thunder Punch. Well, we got to, anyway. I mean, look will do, so... Yeah, basically, I cannot escape. I cannot switch. And I'm just gonna keep up the Thunder's Punches. Good. And he's just gonna lick, there hopefully no that. paralysis. Ah, Alright, good. Well, go lick yourself in oblivion. There, That's it. Oh, and down it goes. Yep, down it goes. Oh my. Oh my, a piece There's of pie. And if I don't have it, you will die. And uh, Hunter should not be that e uh, hard to take care of. In fact, it might go down to this. Ah. Yeah, that'll do it. Basically, the announcer pretty much points it to you. Yeah, if he says stuff like, will this be it? The finishing blow? And if and if he says, wah, or just something like that, yeah, you know it's over. I am grateful for this. Yes, you are grateful for the loss. So, yeah. Alrighty, uh, but of course, for those of you guys that are new to Stadium 2, uh, of course, same rules apply in Stadium 1. If you lose against the gym leader, or the second trainer, whatever, you go back to the first trainer and do the gym again. So, uh, Let's go ahead and take on Mode. Mode turning Fode for the Fog Badge. Whether you choose to believe it or not, Mystic Power does exist. 
And basically, he's telling me I don't stand a ghost of a chance. And literally, uh, his anime debut that Morty debuted in the Johto uh, anime was an episode called A Ghost of a Chance. Like, how ironic that it was used in the Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged series. For those of you, most of you guys that should know about what that is. Um, that was done by Little Kribo. That he's really, really good. Uh, I, I like his work. Um... Alright, uh, definitely not going to send in Kadabra because of Gengar. Um, because Gengar has Shadow Ball, I, I believe. And, uh, yeah, that would not be too good to do. Um, we're gonna go with Sneasel, Entei, and, uh, Vaporeon. Here we are, the battle against Ekrutik's gym leader, Morty. Will the challenger be able to advance in the face of persistent attacks by his ghost-type Pokémon? So, first up is going to be Giraffe Rig, and, uh... Okay, the thing about Giraffe Rig is it's a psychic... Dark, or a psychic normal type, basically. So... Uh... I think I'm just gonna go for the headbutt. Maybe try to flinch it. I know I'm faster, which I am, uh, Sneasel has faster speed. You can't use any psychic moves in, I believe it. Yeah, flinch. Now he's just gonna switch, probably. I would not be surprised if it's Gengar. Ah, I was actually thinking about going for Feign Attack there, but I did not think he would switch, so... Good switch on his part. Well, I guess we'll go for the feint attack then, which, if I had went for it thinking he was going to switch up, I would have helped a lot. And he gets a critical. Oh my god. Which, to be honest, the, uh, Sneasel would have oh, taken that. Will this Pokemon avenge the honor of its fallen comrade? The number I of hope so. Pokemon is two to three. There's the attack. Yes, it's a hit. Yeah, that did a lot. Come on, Fire Blast, we need you to hit. And now I'm gonna need one more to hit, actually. Now, hopefully, this does not get a critical. Oh, that would be so bad if that did. Now, we gotta hit. I mean, this is obvious. We gotta hit. Alright. Well. It's not over by any means, but uh, it's certainly chances are not looking that great at the moment. It's probably going to be Giraffe Rig. Yeah. Wasn't surprised. Um. I guess we'll go for the Fire Blast. Yeah, he's got. He's faster than me. Now it's gonna be up to Vaporeon. Ah, not Thunder. Whoop, that Phew, missed. All right, Vaporeon. All right, yes, 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 yes. Yes. No Alright, I can win with two options. If it's Sudowoodo or Marowak. I can still do this. Oh, Ariados. Okay, Ariados. Alright, Vaporeon, I need you. Come on, Vaporeon, we can do this. Ooh, ugh, that was a bad half. Oh, Sludge Bomb. Okay, I'm gonna be interested to see how much this does. Hoo hoo. Oh, this is gonna come down to the wire. They're both hanging tough. 
I would go for the acid armor, but uh, ugh, this is gonna be close. If he gets a crit, oh, if he gets a critical on me, it's all over. Okay. And I just literally face palm myself. Oh man. So that's gonna be it for Morty. Quick attack and uh, that's the battle. So we won and we have the fog badge. Whew, that was close. That really was. That's how to do it. I look forward to seeing you become even stronger. So I critique gym battle clear. Yeah, that was that was very very close. Whew, how I had the um, the edge of my seat, and I hope that did for you guys too. But that is going to do it for this episode. And in the next episode, we're going to be taking on the Sinwood Gym and Chuck the Fighting Type Gym Leader. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up like button. And the comment question is, if you could uh, create a new Pokemon type, what would it be? Like, lights, uh, I don't know. Whatever, what, what can you think of that you think would be a new Pokemon type? Leave it in the comments below. Um, and so, yeah, so I look forward to seeing you guys in the next episode. Thanks for tuning in. And so until the next episode, I'm Zephyr Sonic. Goodbye.